squat and up. And I can't go overhead. If I baby an arm, you don't. Yes, good. So out, three, one. It should be faster. I'll find the beat for you. Yeah. I'll go. You just find your thing. We need to do 20. So we'll start now. One. This can be four. Because we'll add. Come all the way up. Make sure you get that. A lot of the time. And that's Olympic lifting is a kind of a hump with your hips. We're gonna go two more and then we're gonna add a twist. Breathe, a down and a reach. So it's here, down, up. Same side. Make it, break it, breathe. Oh, hands make my, I love you today, it is. Breathe out, push. Sorry. We'll pick up the speed on the next one. Now we'll just do Rick uh, tempo, punch, punch, good. I can't do my arm, breathe. Getting the heart rate going yet? Yep. Three, if I'm doing a fat burning workout, that's what we do. One more, nice, good. Now we're gonna go back. We're just gonna go down, front, back. You can bend the knee. We'll do a few slow. Squeeze when you come up. Breathe. Two more. Two more each side. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Okay, now ready? We're going to go back, come up to high knee to the beat. So it's. Breathe. Ten. Don't squeeze the toes. Like lift them. Try to really balance with your glute. Breathe. How's your hips feel? Your hip flexes. Good. Right now. <laughs> Two. One. Now back. Up. Switch. Back. Breathe. When really add a crunch. I know I'm baby in this. I don't need to. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. If you want to get bigger, I don't because it bothers me, but you can jump. You can go. This, but it bothers my knee, so I don't do it. But, good breath. Now, we're going to go. Try to add this bend. Oh, it's weird. Nice. It's good for your brain too, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, what Up, are doing? back. Oh, three more. Mm. Yep, two more. It's the up and the down. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing with that. You got it. That's what it is. Whatever you want. <laughs> well, if you were laying on the ground and you were, what would you do? We probably wouldn't reach, yeah. but the reach is good for the abs. So let's just get this side and then we'll do the weight. Different feet. That's in my brain. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. Two more. Let's start you on six. Well, you can do way more than a six. Chop the eight. Grab the eight. I'm not gonna do it with weight. Well, you know what, maybe I'll take this, like this. So, front squat. And right here in front. God bless you. Yep. <laughs> okay, front squat five times. Just the weight stays here. When you stand up with the front squat, you can push overhead when you stand up. Do I want a two or one? You want two, I okay. can't do. Yeah. One, but the weight is in front. Two, three, four, five, six, 
five. Now you lower and back. I'm just showing you, you'll get five more, don't worry. Keep it in tight. You can do that, you can go down, up, down, up, breathe, up, two. And when you go up, you kind of go in and push in with your abs, okay? okay, okay. So now, high pull. So, this is a high pull. So a clean is, I'll show you the whole thing after, but the, I'm breaking it down for you. So it's high pull, high pull, but it's not elbow strike, it's one, two, three, four, catch, and then it's push press. This is the next, and breathe. You're gonna do five of them. And then the clean is this. You can do five of them. So five high pulls. Squat, knees a little closer. Shoulders are behind the knees. You don't want to be here, you want to be here. So this is doing the work. So it's one, right to the elbows, right to the underarm. Three, four, five, and then come down and catch. One, right? And then, actually let's do that. Just so that you have that motion. Okay. So we're gonna go down, catch, push, press. No, I'm lying to you, no. Go from here and it's one. Let's do this. Two, three, you get under that weight. Four, and you're almost a front squat. And then it's here, push, squat. Big push, use your abs. Push, hold. Go up there and just hold it for a second, feel your abs. Nice, good. And now we're gonna do a whole clean. So there's something called reciprocal training. If you baby one side, you work the other, this side will remember. Let's see. Kind of pissed. Yeah, it's nice for you. Stupid. <laughs> I'm sure I've like fractured right here. That's where it hit. Like just like a little. Yeah. Or just a little fracture. <laughs> Alright, so a clean, come down, high pull, front, under the weight, you're going to get back under that weight, so it's like that front squat, and push, that's a clean, okay? okay? So it's like two squats. It's squat, high pull, catch, push. Okay. When you're clean in that bar, which I'll have you do on the end, when you come to that catch, you have to get right under it, and it's all, it's a lot of humping and hipping, but it really... Olympic lifts, like tone this right up, which I haven't done because I'm, if I'm sore, I can't bike. So I blow it. Do you need to yawn? That's me. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. You should see the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I pulled you. Go down, squat, high pull, catch, elbows front, elbows back, push overhead. Good, come down, lower down. That's a one. Up, catch. Here, watch my arms. Yep. Copy me. Down. Nice. Yeah, high pull catch. Yeah, that's big. That so that that you had that perfect. But this is where all the hip comes in when it's heavy. That's just that's too light for you to be honest with you. Even though it's kicking your butt, you don't have to use your body to move it. Your yeah, abs are strong enough. Mm -hmm. That's why we won't go up in weights. Okay. All right, you do five, and I'll just tell you if you're doing something wrong. So squat. I'll do it with you. High pull catch. It's one and then. Yeah. Two. Good. Perfect. Four. Nice. Gorgeous. Five. Beautiful. There you go. Want to do time? Do it because you have it. Okay. Now you can go down. When you have light weights, come up and on your push, come high knee. So on your next stand, come down, come up, catch. Now come up high knee. And that will help just make it a little bigger for you. Yep, you got it. Kick, breathe. Beautiful. Now, do one more side and then we'll go up to weight. Nice. We're gonna do a plank circle, but I'm not gonna do. Um, and then you're gonna get rid of those because you need to go up weight, sorry. Right now? Yep. Okay. What should I do? It's just, you're gonna grab tens. That's how you go up in those kind, those increments and pads. Yeah, it's getting messy. Nice. 
Those are weird looking things. Yeah. So you'll hold them upside down. Just put them on the side. Because we're going to do our cardio right now. I don't know if you want water first or if you want to just go. Do you see this poor, poor, pitiful plant? I used to have beautiful plants. I used to have this beautiful house. This big, massive, beautiful McMansion, we called it. Mm -hmm. uh, my husband's a builder, and I had to work like a dog. I just get sick of it. So, and I had this bathroom that was stunning, and it was full of all those beautiful plants. They were gorgeous. And now I just can't keep them alive. A lot of work. I, is, do you think that's what it's just? I said every day I take care of them. Now I'm like, oh, poor thing. <laughs> All right, so go into a plank right here. Now this is just square, right? Go into the plank and I'm going to walk you through it. I cannot do a plank right now. So you see your square. So you're going to walk a circle around, but this is the pivot point. So walk your feet to the right and your hands to the left. Yep, that's it. And you're gonna go a full circle and plank. Nice, and you wanna stay in your square. Can you feel it? You yeah. do need to add a push up to it. And once you return to neutral, you can do a push up or not. But it's a, it's a elbow out a little bit. Hover, yes, nice, good, and come up. I know, now go the other way. Breathe, nice, good. So this is posterior anterior work should help. Once you go back straight, you do a push-up and then you flip over on your back. And we do a bear crawl kind of, or a tabletop, same. Nice, good. So go down. Bring your hands behind you and bring your feet in front of you. Nice, there you go. Good, good. So then come up tabletop, which is, yeah, nice. Bring your head back, abs up, a little more. Now, can you walk in that? It's harder. You gotta not sink your abs. Concentrate more on those abs. Nice. Feel it? You're pretty. Perfect. Get your thumbs a little straighter when you're doing it. Make them really work. They're bending in and you can be old like me with things. Now you can do a dip and come up. You can do a couple dips. One more. Nice. Now reverse it. That's the break between. Good. Nice. Good. Do an out, out, in, in with these. Oh, I guess I throw in some shirts in here. Gorgeous. Two. Nice. And just throw a boat just because. Throw what? A boat. Put your butt on the ground. Bring your right foot up, leaving your hands there. Now bring your left foot up. Now straighten your belly and your back. More. There. Now take your hands off. That's boat. Hold. Gorgeous. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, if you really want to kick your own butt, lower an eighth of uh, like a half, even a little more. There, hold 10. You want that shake at 9, 8, 7. Flex your feet. Go from what you go to what you don't do. Breathe. 3, 2. Now, if you really want to push it, go up to full bow and then back down to low bow. Nice, reach your hands to your toes when you go up. Do a reach, nice, and back. That's that same, same thing. Yeah, nice there. Yeah. <laughs> so take this foot up in the air. Yeah, flex your foot, and drop it to the left, but don't let that shoulder come off. If you need to take that hand under it and relax, you can just get a nice back pop. Breathe, come up to the middle. And then grab the same toe with the same hand. Grab that big toe and open it to the side. Stabilize this leg, don't let it come up. Breathe, flex your foot, nice. And back center, and bring it to your nose. Grab behind the knee and bring that right to your nose as much as you can. And switch and go the other way. Nice, good. Up and breathe. And cross first. Nice, yeah. Gorgeous, breathe, open. Yep. Grab the big toe. Don't let this hip come off the ground and drop it to the side if you can. Fight that urge. Nice. Breathe. And come back up center. Nose to knee. Should just be a really good back stretch, hamstring stretch, glute stretch. Good. Okay. And then now we're going to do another set. So we do a cardio and the weights. And cardio and the weights. 
And now you're going to go up to 10. I wonder. It's just sore more than anything. It's not bad. Like that. Bad. I didn't even put makeup on today. Um, I'm just seeing if I want to try it, but I probably don't, huh? I just want to do it and show you. <clears throat> so, we're just going to do a full clean in front first, and then we're going to break it down next, okay? So it's, I'm going to do this side. I'm just already not on it. Okay. So we're going to do, I'm going to go to the middle. Okay. I'm going to go down, high pull, catch, push. That's it. So squat, high pull, catch, push. That's one. As fast as you can, two. We can do ten of these because you like it. Most people don't jump to it, but you got it. Three, four. I'm gonna come up, five, six. Yep, seven, you can come up on. You can do that if you want, it's hard. I don't think I can do that right now. Just a real good way to build balance. Up, two more. Nice. One more. Okay. We'll do Romanian. Just because. So go we'll do ten of these. true deadlift. I put things down, I pick them up. Nice. Good. Good. One more. Right? Yeah. I'm counting. I'm bad at counting. All right. So do me. I want you. I'm just throwing stuff at you. You're going to squat and push up at the same time. This is hard. It's a, I'm just, you're going to go. It's hard and it's quick. One. It's very hard. I don't even try. Let me try the 12. If I can do the 12, you can do the 10. All right? Breathe. Nice. That's as low. Two. Three. It's, you're going to be surprised. So just do a regular squat without the weight first. Right? Just do a regular squat and stand up and punch. Hold you ready and punch. Now, I lied to you. Squat and push up at the same time. It's opposite of what we do. Do it again, feel it? So, how do you think about weight? You want a 10 or you want to drop down first? Grab these first. I was just gonna keep doing the same. Usually, I have to fix. And weights and the boys usually are over manning it, but you have working already up to advance, so just to put accolades on you. So squat and, and push at the same time. Overhead squat. Feel the difference? Shoulders do not. Okay. No, shoulders don't Feel like that it. Angle. Yeah. Um, turn the weight so they face in and try coming up like that, out more. Is that better? A little bit. They yeah. still don't. Like, they don't want to do that. No, That's it's not. it's it's not easy. Um, do one more. Okay, that's good enough, don't you think? Yeah. All right. Good. Breathe. So put it down, and then do another set of cleans. But I want you to work up to twelves. So take my black and this black. So that's what happens. The weights just start getting everywhere. But you're gonna and only do five. And do you want me to walk you through it or you remember it? Okay, got it. Okay. So it's squat, high pull, catch, push press. 
Beautiful, nice, good. Feel that, a little difference? Big, huge abs, jump. Gorgeous. <laughs> Breathe, push. If you want a split jerk, you know what a split jerk is? So you go high toe, catch. Okay, that's a split jerk. Yep, and when they're doing a true split jerk, it's, they jump. So just to let you know, they literally, but they're cleaning their body weight. You're, you're not at your body weight right now. So you need that explosive power, but you might want to add that for the fun of it. Okay. <laughs> yes, you got it. I won't even coach you. Pop, nice. See how, see how it totally, yeah. really? Nice, faster, it's not pretty. High pull, bam, good. High pull, catch, pop. You're skipping a step. Yeah, I, because, I do you wanna know why? You're too strong. You're going right up. You're going right, which is okay. You just need a little more, you know how to trick it. That's off, you're fine. All right, just do a Romanian, five of them. A Romanian deadlift is your legs are straight. Whereas a regular deadlift, you squat down to the ground. I don't know why they have deadlifts because in the military, soldiers were getting hurt picking up dead bodies. So, <laughs> so they had to learn how to do it, can you imagine? And that's where we get the deadlift. Okay. All right, good. Put that down, now we're gonna do some aerobic, okay? I'm gonna go out, out, in, in, up, up, back, back, okay? So out, out, in, in, back, back, front, front. Out, out, in, in, back, back, front, front. We're gonna do it. Off a little bit. I'll give you a better song. Do you want to get water? Yeah. Then you can do it with your hands too. I'm not going to do it with my hands. But we'll do it for like 30 seconds. We'll time it. going to have to play with it, okay? So you go in the middle of it, and you go out, out, in, in. Point now back, back, front, back, front, 
one thing about football is they have to very quickly adapt to situations. Mm -hmm. So, hockey, skiing, biking, all those sports, even gymnastics. What if something happens? You have to be able to adapt. So now come up, up, out, in. You can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now in, in, then you're gonna go front and back. Front, back. Then I'm gonna really mess with your brain. Three, two, and then one. So then you're gonna go out, out, in, and back, back, out, out, in, and back, back, in, in. Out, out, in, up. Out, out, in, and out. In, in, out, out, in, 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 out, out, in, in, out, out. Not bad. Can you do the same pattern with your arms or will that break you? Like? Down, hands. Oh, like on the, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So in, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. In, in. Oh, am I supposed to be going like up and down? You're down and next. Okay. Out, out. In, in, out, out. So come in. Now stay in. Forward. Yep. And then go out, out. Go in, in. And then go back. I'm supposed to be moving my feet? Yep. Okay. Whole body. Same. Out, out. In, in, now go behind you and come in front. Oh, sorry. Yep. And then you can make your own pattern. What do you feel like doing? Do you have a song coming? Yeah, sure. You only need to do 20 seconds of it. Okay. So you can go in, in, out, out, in, in, front, front, out, out, in, 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 out, out. Like make a pattern in your head and make your body do it. Okay. So think about it while you're doing it. And you are gonna go now, and it's 20 seconds from here. So whatever you want, I'm not gonna correct you. Go in, in, out, out. Yeah, in, in, front, front. There you go. Yep, perfect. Yep. If it hurts your wrist at all, let me know. Try to go a little more forward now. Front. There. Good. Yep. Yep. Good. And then out, out, in, in. And somewhere along the way, if you want to do a hover hook push-up, it's not going to hurt you, and you're done. You did 20 minutes. How's that? Let's do a camel pose and stretch. Is it annoying, or is it fun? No, it's fun. I like it. A little challenge. This makes we it used different. to do, uh, we'll use the ladder, but yeah. soccer. Yeah. When I was yeah, you're getting a sport workout. Yeah. I think sport workouts, um, particularly the three minutes of high impact on the weights and the high impact on the weights. Mm -hmm. Just, they get you fitter faster too. Like you'll notice, do you notice a difference in your body yet? Not that you had fat anyway. Do you even have fat? Yes, I have uh, some. <laughs> menopause. I feel good just in the sense that like, I'm moving where I wasn't really yes. before. Yes, yep, so. good. Okay, ready, so. Camel pose is you back bend and you grab your heel. So it's hips way forward. No, I'm not being this. Sorry, I don't like a half a body. I either want to be all the way in or not at all. So you can be like this, or you can be tippy. And what happens is, is the hips stay over your knees and you back bend. So it's a back bend. Oh, oh I can do it. Nice. Now get your hips a little more to me. They are nice and drop that. Breathe. Okay, good. Back. And then you can do a down dog. Could do a dolphin. We'll see if we'll see it. This nice first day of anything. Nice. Three, four, five, and then drop. And Carl, come right to it. Nice. Ooh. Good. Good. Nice. There you go. I'm not used to getting hurt. You know, I'm not the father of the group. Makes me mad. Nice. Five, four, three. I'm going to just check you on this one. Let's see where your heels are at. So open your feet an inch. Now tilt your pelvis and push your body weight back. A little bit more. There. That's more of your hammies. Okay? Tight. Nice. Stay there for 10, 9, 8. Drop one heel and get the other one bent. Drop that 
left heel a little more flat. Make it go, nice. And switch. It's called walking the dog. Maybe when I don't see you do this for your, for your um, hamstrings. Nice, other side switch. Come up on your hands and try. And try walking the dog from there, much better for you. Give me a little more of a tilt in your pelvis. Yep, and push, hold, switch. Nice, breathe, good. Perfect, whenever you're done. When we are ready, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna clean a bar now. Okay. You ready for it? You want water or are you good? I'm good. You're not even sweating. No, I am sweating. <laughs> so that bar weighs 19 pounds. Okay. It's not heavy. It's, it's rusted, but everything's rusted. It's because I work out outside mostly. Mm -hmm. Um, this bar weighs 19 pounds and it has six pounds on it. So it's 25 pounds. An Olympic bar, a practice bar weighs 22 pounds, I think. The bar, it's aluminum, so it's light, it looks heavy. But a regular bar is 45 pounds. And then we add weights up. We should, if we're gonna be at our fittest, we should be able to clean our body weight. Okay, it's hard, very hard. The initial pull kicks your butt. So we'll do that. Let's just put these guys. I'll grab. You can move them out of your way so you don't have them in your face. Nice. Yeah, maybe we can just throw these out. We might do more. We won't go to the tens. We'll pass those. I'm not past the thighs. All right, so when you pick up a bar, you come up to it, your feet go under it. See that little thing in the middle? So normally an Olympic bar has bigger weights, bigger um, plates, so you don't have to bend down as much as you're gonna have to bend down to pick this up. So we're gonna yep. do something called a hang clean, where you're gonna bring it to your knees, that's a hang clean. Where if you were using a traditional bar, you'd go down all the way to the ground. So this is a traditional clean. This hang clean is from here. That's the only difference. And then you come up and you go up and it almost hits you in the chin and then your weight comes under. And then that, see how I kind of get that position? I was saying you have to get under it for that front squat. And then you come up overhead. All right? Yes. It's gonna be fine for you. So squat, get your feet. So you line up with this. Now your thumbs line up with that too. So you go here. If it's too big, if you were smaller, you might have to come in like a pinky or two, but I don't think it's too big for you. Think. You decide where it's comfortable for you. It's just my, yeah. You decide, you feel it. You want the thumb under it though. Yep. So bend your knees, drop your butt, and bring that up to your knees. So that's your hang clean. So it's the first is that first pull. When we're doing it with the weights, it's this elbow strike. Mm -hmm. You're still doing the elbow strike, but they kind of come out to the side. They come in and around in front. Okay. So see how you do with it. Come up, high pull. Nice, do that five times. Down, breathe, high pull. Although you almost want to hit yourself in the chin, it's that big, it's bam. There, good, two more. Breathe out, one more. Always look ahead, not down. Look up there, good. Now from there, elbows forward, and it goes under you more. See how you have to shift your body? Mm -hmm. So come up and do that five times. Just get used to that motion, because if it hits you in the face, it hurts. I'm sure. And it has, it will. If you're doing rail lifting, nice. If we keep doing this, I'll bring my rail weights back. I had I took them out when I was in COVID. Nice. Now come to your front. I pull catch. Catch. Push press. Beautiful. And go right from there. Elbows right in front. You go right down and pop. Down. Pop. That's your um that right there is your six pack half kind of too. Even a bigger hump. Bam. Nice. Now do one whole full clean from the ground when you're ready. So hang clean knees. from here, hang clean, low look ahead, and high pull, catch, and push. Now, don't break it down like that, make it real smooth. So whenever you're ready, you can go, high pull, catch, push, high pull, catch, push, beautiful, see it? Mm -hmm. And you can do as many as you want, yeah. See how your body can move out? You'll be surprised how much weight you can move. <laughs> Yep, how many did you do? 
Green. All right, now try add a split jar. So it's, I have to just do it. It's down, hypo. That's your split. Hypo down, hypo catch. Beautiful. Oh, see, there it is. You're gonna hit yourself in the face. Good. So, why know why that happened? Because you went right to this. Mm -hmm. You gotta go here. The elbows will only let you go so far. This is gonna let you punch yourself out. Yeah. So it's elbows out. You have to find your cue. So for me, mine is my high pull catch. For you, it might be elbows out, elbows in. Like you decide what your own mental cue is to remind you of that. Because if you come straight up with a real heavy weight and you don't brace this to catch it, mm -hmm. you're going backwards over. Yeah. That's lightweight. <laughs> so, and I've not, I've like bitten my tongue. I've had bruise. It happens. Mm -hmm. You should see a lot of us. Like, cause when you clean, like, and you're getting certified, they are standing over you, screaming at you, cause you just, it, because you're moving so much weight that it has to be. Yeah. There's only, that you get bruises on your knees and your shins, and it comes up, it almost knocks you out, and you just have to just go right through it. So anyway, so elbows out, and on um, high pull, catch. For me, it's high pull, catch. Mm -hmm. You decide, it's annoying my oh, shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, so say it and do it. And don't add the split jerk if it's too much. Okay. You're just advanced, so I throw it at you, but that's a whole brain process mm -hmm. that you don't have to do yet. Okay. I love this yep, Nice high pull catch. Free. Nice. Catch. Push. Yep. We're going to add good mornings when you're done. Nice. That's perfect. This will definitely go up. I pull, catch, beautiful. Out in, definitely. All right, more. yes. You have to say it to yourself. It's yeah. a step. After a while, you know, once you start doing it, because if you like Olympic lifts, you turn into a little Olympic lift addict. Because you can go and do 10 minutes of that, and it's equivalent to our full workout. But you're going to feel it yeah. because of the weights that you use. So I, it's, you know. Plus, the more I get to know you, I mean, I could do a 10 minute workout and kick your ass and I wouldn't feel bad because, but anyway. All right, now a good morning is come up, catch, bring it behind you. But well, here, and you're gonna go, good morning. It's the weight behind you. So instead of doing a back squat, it's that. Where, and this is a deadlift, mm -hmm. the good morning is the weight stays on your back. It really gets your glutes and your hamstring. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna do 10 of those. So you come up high pull, catch overhead, do, do a I clean, go. Okay. go down to a full clean, and then when you lower it, you lower it behind you. It's really good for shoulder mobility. Catch, push, lower it behind you, nice. And then your elbows kind of go out if you can. There, perfect. Now, and lower it a little more on your shoulders. I don't want it on your neck. Particularly, and if it's tight, you can open your arms a little bit. But if you have a 45 pound on your back, you do not want that on your neck, all right? So it's good morning. Now your knees can bend a little. Yes, nice, and come up, breathe. This is why it's sport yoga, is this stuff. Nice, and it's good morning. Breathe. Yep. Now stay there, 10, 9, 8, straighten your legs a little bit, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then come up, push overhead, and drop it on the ground, nice, or put it over behind you actually, just roll it behind you, yeah, nice, good, not bad, now stretch your back a little bit, take your arms behind you, and make a fist, and just roll the shoulders, breathe, nice. And then try to make the fist and roll. And then just go like this and go like this. And switch. Good. Breathe. Now, your head is perfect if you want to look up a little bit and just maybe get into the neck like this. Just see if you even need it. Nice. And breathe. Good. Ooh. So. The cumulative, the, cu uh, the accumulation of all of this is a snatch, right? So 
If you go into a gym, they're gonna teach you the snatch first, which is stupid because it requires the most um, technique. My thing, I clean and jerk and I have a nice snatch. It's a little nasty, but it isn't because you clean, you jerk, it's to jerk. Now the snatch is wide. You can be like this and you come like this and then you just flip right like that. I wonder if I can do it. I have that movement. It's just very, it's sore. That. All right. We just say, I'll let you know if I can do it. Go wide. I don't know, but that's easy. Yeah. So I'm there, right? So let me just, I'm going to face you. I'm not going to face the arrow. No, I don't know if I can do it. Okay. How wide are you? Do you see the different movement? It's just a little subtle difference. It's a wide leg clean. So it's high pull right here. When you have a heavier weight, your hip is gonna to toss it and then you're gonna push it. That's where that hip thrusts. That's your snatch. Got it? Why did I show her that? Now, so go wide. And just get used to it first. Don't be fearful of it. It's really easy. Even wider. Drop your butt low. Nice. So just come up, high pull. High pull. Nice. And toss it. Yeah. Snatch. <laughs> you got it. So go down. Look ahead. One, two, three. Bam. Fast. Is there a. There's not written. No. Just it's just a up. throw. Okay. Yep. Well, in a real. If you're really heavy. You're gonna come down, you're gonna catch it, and you're gonna to go to a full deep squat. So you can if you want. I just didn't wanna throw it at you, but do it if you're ready for it. You wanted to do it. High pull, low, nice. Right up squat. Well, squat at the same time you lift. No, I'm not gonna say. If you just do it, you're fine. It's perfect. Beautiful, there, huh? Now another part of that is bring the weight over your head. Now bring your head through, your arms more, like this. It's mobility. Snatch is a big mobility. So watch me sideways. So I was here, but really it should be, it's really kind of weird looking, but you're like way, I can't really do that one, but push it back a little more. Get your wrists a little straight up there. That's what they want in the squat. Can you feel the muscles that you have to engage? Feel it in the armpit. Yes. Yeah. So you want to, um, so Olympic lifts are mobility as well as strength. So that Tom Brady pliability, Olympic lifts would fall into that because you're building strength and mobility and flexibility. Um, and that snatch, it's a big, it's, you'd be shocked at how far those bodies are so really fat. Most Olympic lift guys are fat because they only do maximum weight. I took it and made it to a, more of this but snatches, so push it to whatever you're ready for. Okay. And then do two more. Really? <laughs> Nobody, like lately. Do you want me to keep going? Well, somebody from California is calling me. Exciting. <laughs> you got somebody. Okay. Yeah, I want you to do two more. I want you to do as many as you want. Get that butt a little bit lower, nice. So high pull catch, bam. Yep. You're ready for way more weight. Can you feel that? You're ready for more weight? Yeah. Yeah. Now try to squat at the same time that you do it. So high pull, catch and squat. That's a clean. I mean, that's a snatch. <laughs> because it's snatch. It's quick, quick, quick. It's the ability to go from one position to the next with strength and power and mobility. Nice. Yep, good, breathe. Yeah, I have to bring my 45 pound by here. Oh, one of these days, since I'm just used, I'm just doing you, you can meet me at the pond. Okay. I have a um, outdoor gym that that all my weights are in. We have a big container that all my weights are in. Okay. That, that um, awesome. We'll do that, and then we can move you up. All right, nice, good. That's it. Put it down now. And breathe. Yep. And then we're gonna do standing abs. I'm just gonna move this. I think I'm gonna make the girls do the same workout, but they're never gonna get me to do it. Just to let you know. 
We're gonna do standing abs, and we'll do standing abs with weight as our ending, okay? Just roll it behind you. If Marlo comes, she'll do all that clean. She'll do clean. I don't know about that. She be, yeah. So your standing abs, it's standing crunch. We're gonna do 20 each side, and then we're gonna come to the front, and then we'll just do a flat back forward. But I think we need a different song. I'll make a good playlist for this. I have it somewhere, I just can't find it, I'm sorry. Oh, I love boys. I love this song. The first time, what was the song? The sex song? <laughs> the stallion? Whatever that song is, I'm like, oh my God. I just can't believe the things that, you know what, good for women finally being like, oh yeah, you wanna be all sex? We're gonna take it, we're gonna be the sex ones. And we don't care if we're big women. And you know, I, I find it kind of empowering, but it's kind of like, Oh, I can't believe she says that. Like out yeah. loud. I barely think it. And I'm not a prude. She says some stuff. Okay, ready? And you know what? Do you want to do this with weights? Because a lot of the times I'll do a standing out with weights. Sure. Grab a 15 up. Let's really kick your butt. Just one? Yeah, and you glad I abuse you? Yes. I do abuse you. I'm <laughs> like, you're so strong that I can. I'm not going to do the weight. But it's, you're going to twist away, right? Literally. And then in, away. Breathe. Yep. Good, so it's one, and it's fast. Good, three, four, five. Am I going too fast? Because I don't have weight. Is it gonna kick your butt to do 20? Let's just do 15. Do five, four, three. Flex your feet a little bit more. Nice, and now you're gonna switch. And it's like this, real quick. Nice, and 10, 15, 14, 13. Really rotate in, in. Just like you're laying on the ground doing elbows to knees. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. I'm gonna show you something before we go to the front. Two, one, ready, watch. One, two, crunch, crunch. So down, twist, crunch, twist, twist, Crunch, twist, twist, crunch, twist, twist, crunch, crunch. Do it without the weight if it's killing you. The weight's meant to kill you. Right, so <laughs> just- your end a little bit more. Twist, it does, it makes you really engage your abs. Twist, okay, now I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna add the same side, just that twist, twist, twist. Two more and then I'm gonna twist, 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 crunch, same side. Three, two, one, twist, twist, crunch. Now you got it. Nice. Four, five. Okay. One more and then twist, twist the other side. It's just good for your brain. Breathe. Three, four, five. Really crunch. Yep. See the difference? Breathe. Breathe. Now we're gonna go. Twist, twist, crunch. Twist, twist, crunch. Twist, twist, crunch. Twist, twist, crunch. Makes your brain think faster. It's not the same beat. Nice, good. Woo! Get the front. Lot back forward. Get your little stretch. Nice, now your hand can come down. Breathe. Take your fingertips, walk your body through your leg if you can. Nice. And come up. Nice. Now drop your right hand, twist to the left. And you can reach your left hand up. I'm just babying it. And come down and switch the other way. Same side from the middle. Twist. Let it get your groin. Keep your body straight. Nice. Now take your right hand in front of your left foot and do that same twisting motion should feel really good in your hamstring and your IT band. You can come through the middle and go left hand in front of right foot. Twist. Right. Now come back to the middle and go behind the left foot with the right hand. Pull your body in as much as you can. Right. Two second and then switch and come back behind. Breathe the other side. Right. Good. Now you come center. 
And let's just do a skandasana, a groin a little bit. So rotate your right foot or your left foot and send your butt all the way to the ground. Release. Come up and switch. You can lift the heel of the bent knee. I don't like to, but if you need to, and rotate. Good, nice. Do one more each way. Nice. The side wants to come up. The side doesn't, so weird. Nice. Now it is. Do I just breathe? Yeah. Want to try a headstand from here? Sure. So go up with a V. So bring your head to the ground. Are your hands by your head? That's good. Yep. And then just lift your legs right up from there. It's, it's almost a tuck. Here we go. Beautiful. Yeah, now open them. Yeah. Beautiful. Now lower them straight down in front of you. Slow, slow, slow. Here's your core strength right here. Tuck, 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 hold, hold, hold. Beautiful. Now open to that V if you can. Flex your feet. Beautiful. There you go. Now you could bend your right knee and bring it to your right elbow and twist your whole body down. It's a creative thing. And then switch. They call this the waterfall. Yep. Then you can be really creative, like you could twist and twist, but get used to this motion first. Nice. Good. Yep. Yep. There you go. Now tilt your hips a little bit if you want. What? Like, <laughs> bring your feet up. I'm going to stand behind you so you won't fall. Bring your knees up a little bit off your elbow. Now drop your knee by bringing this whole hip. Yeah, that's where your waterfall comes in. And then switch the other way. Yep. There you go. That's where you can get a little creative. Just kind of let your body get used to that motion. You ready? I'm gonna walk away from you. And then you can like come out, open your legs, go in. You can just be really creative with it. Do a little mini workout. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. Yep. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Can you push up to a handstand from that? Nope. <laughs> Maybe we, can you go to crow? So take your knees and bring them to your elbows. Both of them on either side of either elbow and tuck them up towards your underarms a little bit. Yep, there you go. Yep. So if we can get you up into crow from that, then maybe we could work on handstand for you. I'll have you doing all kinds of cool little things. <laughs> yeah, now just stretch that out. It's fun to do the cool things in headstand because um, how's your neck? Fine. Good to strengthen your neck too. So I have a certification I have to do had it for two years, which is bad. But last year it was COVID, I couldn't really do anything. And I have all the workouts ready. So I might have to use you for that. Okay. And do, um, they're only 20 minute yoga videos. So we'll do those and I'll have them ready. And then I'm gonna go to Maine 